While the COVID-19 pandemic has had an effect on every aspect of our lives, for young college prospects here in the athens Clark and Oconee counties, their futures hang in the balance. The college recruiting landscape has had to adjust to the ever-changing nature of today's world with the help of coaches and athletic directors. College coaches haven't even been able to come watch the high school because a lot of schools have policies with spectators. So they've had to do a little more work, I would say, individually to get their name and abilities out there more than ever before. Coaches and athletes have been adjusting by relying on social media platforms, FaceTime, Zoom, and Huddle to contact college coaches. So what we've done is stepped up um, our platforms. We've increased our um, abilities to showcase kids by, by increasing our huddle presence, um, purchasing higher level platforms that we can use for our kids uh, to try to get them out there a little better. Huddle is a platform used by over 160,000 teams. It is commonly used to showcase talent to recruiters through the promotion of highlight videos, statistics, and analytics. According to the Huddle website, a platinum plan for a high school team is valued at $3,300. And the better you can make it look, high definition, things like that, uh, we've purchased high definition cameras, which we, we did not have. We're, we're using uh, cameramen on the sidelines now, give us different angles, different pictures that kids can use uh, to build a profile to hopefully get it in front of the right college coach and, 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 and go through it that way. But for athletes like Clark Central's Hazel Fairburn, this may still have a negative impact on her recruiting experience. So my junior high school season was canceled, so I really didn't get that last chance to even get film to send them. Camps were being shut down and delayed, and it made it a lot more difficult for me to get in contact with the coaches and to let them see how I play. It made my chances of playing college soccer like slim to none, like it really wasn't an option for me. It was heartbreaking, honestly. Even for athletes who have been able to contact coaches, it's been difficult for athletes and coaches alike to find a replacement for in-person connection. I think, uh, you know, kids by and large are so um, electronic savvy or, or technically savvy with their phones that they find ways to overcome, but it's still difficult to replace that face-to-face. -face. And that's when you can really watch the character of a kid while they're playing, is seeing them in person. Athletes and coaches are hopeful that the strategies being implemented by these local high schools will be enough to send this class of athletes to the next level. But with so much uncertainty, only time will tell. For my reporting partner, Stephen Carey, I'm Mariah Rose with Grady Sports.